Hello. I'm Ginger. And I'm Dee. And this is Chat. Chatting with Chad. Hi, everybody. Hello. Well, yeah. today we've been talking about your little ones, yes. and then we talk about kindergarten. Well, today yes. we're going to talk about those first, first and, and second, second graders. graders. Yeah. Okay, so first grade and second grade, still flying under oh. the radar. Oh. So nice. <laughs> It is so nice. It is so nice, but I do understand that there are some moms out there who are a little concerned mm -hmm. about keeping everyone up to speed or on grade level mm -hmm. or whatever term you want to use there. It can be a stressful time, mm -hmm. but if you remember, your, your child will learn the best if you just take things at their pace. That's right. Yeah. That's right. You know, I know there's a lot of pressure that kids be reading by the time mm -hmm. they're five and they'd be mm -hmm. adding by six mm -hmm. and they'd be writing neatly mm -hmm. by the time they're seven. Um, so <laughs> still waiting for someone to write neatly, um, including my husband, I think. <laughs> um, but if a child's not ready, you're both going to end up frustrated. And, yes. and we don't want you to become yes. frustrated because often yes. I think what happens is a child's not ready and you become frustrated and they become frustrated and then people kind of throw in the mm -hmm. towel because they think mm -hmm. homeschooling's not working. But yes. really I think it's the kid's not ready. The yeah. child's not ready. Yeah. And I understand the pressure is immense. Mm -hmm. It is it is so intense to be especially you know when we have the law, well you're not under the law at this point because mm -hmm. your child's not of compulsory age. So I know once they get there there's yeah. a little bit more of that issue. So there is freedom with your first and second graders, but the pressure is intense and you know, everyone's always asking, what's your kid doing? Or my kid can do this or my kid can do that. So yep. try not to fall into those traps, yeah. but pray and seek God's guidance because each child will be different. And your first may be totally ready at four and you are ready and rearing to go, but your second is like, what? <laughs> Pencil? What is Sit that? Down, right? <laughs> Letter? What is that? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, it gives you the freedom to be able to do that, and it doesn't put mm -hmm. you in a box, which is really great. Yeah. So, but now for the yeah. nitty gritty, Ginger. Okay. What did you do did with your first and second graders? I did have plans for my first. I had plans. For my first and <laughs> I had big plans. <laughs> I had really big plans. I keep schedule pages for everyone because my there's too much going on in here. So I and I mean this. So um, I do have schedule papers for everyone, and when I sit down. It's before August, but in August when I'm like, okay, we are definitely doing this. I make up their schedules and I put down every subject that I want to touch on at least that year. And that doesn't mean that I will necessarily do everything every day, but at least it's there on my mm -hmm. schedule sheet so I don't forget it somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> all that information yeah. that comes in and out of my brain. So, but we do cover all those basic things like handwriting, you know, being able to communicate through writing, being able to communicate through reading, lots of reading, um, some basic math, you know, learning your numbers, adding, subtracting, all those basic types of things. Um, I did do a little bit of language arts, but it's more like, you know, Mad Libs, fun, fun things, things can be looked at in a fun kind of a way. And then we did those other things that I talked about last week, like mazes and dot to dots mm -hmm. and um, stuff, riddles that gets them thinking and they see it as fun and they're, they're learning and yeah. It's a fun thing to be doing. So yeah, that's what we're doing. So yeah. what what did you do? Do you use a specific yeah, I tried to I tried to remember. <laughs> I, I am a little bit more laid back. I don't know that I had the plans written out, although I had an idea of some things I wanted mm -hmm. them to do. But I concentrated more on um, what we were doing as a family. And so a lot of times my first and second graders would listen in as I read aloud or if we were doing something hands-on or they would participate mm -hmm. in that or be a part of that. They just sort of were around. Mm -hmm. And then I did, I had a handwriting workbook, mm -hmm. um, but I didn't, I didn't carve out a certain amount of time each day for that okay. because yeah. if, if it got too long and they got frustrated, we walked away Sorry. from it. Yeah. <laughs> I had a workbook for math, a very colorful, um, I used Horizons early on, mm -hmm. very colorful, but then I did a lot of um, manipulatives, math manipulatives, mm -hmm. things like that, mm -hmm. that were more hands-on. I tried to keep the time with them short. Mm -hmm. Short periods of time, I think, worked better than mm -hmm. sitting down for a long period yes. of time. And yes. I didn't cover every subject every day, mm -hmm. but I just had them be a part of whatever was going on with my older children. And yeah. it seemed it seemed to work. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. So Good. far, five of them have they're, graduated. They're picking, <laughs> so I, they're picking up things. They, something, even, yeah, yeah, yeah. They are picking up things, even if you're not saying you're going learn this thing. Yeah, they are picking things up. So, um, some of the things that I covered 
well, I didn't cover at home was like science, mm -hmm. art, music, and that's because we participate in a co-op. So there's all these mommies mm -hmm. and they're teaching things that they are really good at. So they're sharing their skills and all this type of thing. So um, that's where they did science. And I early on, I did do a science curriculum. Once again, I apologize to my older children <laughs> because we did like curriculum this and curriculum that. Um, but now, you know, they they... And they don't have to have, like we went over in the law, mm -hmm. they, they don't have to have a set amount of science all the time. So, um, yeah, what they did at co-op was, yeah. was cool. And then we did do a lot of, of sunlight, so we did a lot of reading out loud together, which yeah. we all really enjoy. Yeah, I, I did too. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't do yeah. sunlight, but I enjoyed the reading out loud. Yes, exactly. Um, but yeah, we used co-op too heavily for those the science and art. And so if they had art at co-op, I wasn't going to repeat that at home it wasn't necessary yeah, at yeah. that age mm -hmm. they don't need mm -hmm. it every single day exactly. and so what they did at co-op then we would just supplement at home with the um, core subjects of math mm -hmm. and reading and writing yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. and just giving my kids time to sit and read each day um, that mm -hmm. was important so that's yeah. what we did so we did so what about things like cursive or grammar so we do do cursive. I believe it's important. Mm -hmm. um, my kids definitely learned by third grade, mm -hmm. but some of them were really interested. So they started in second grade. Mm -hmm. So they, I just, I don't know. It's good for motor skills. Sure I'm also is. really kind of maybe say weird about being able to read our founding documents. I think they're all in cursive. So mm -hmm. I want them yeah. to be able to go back to the source if they, you know, if there's a time to or reason yeah. to. And you need to know how to sign your name. That's right. That's and to right. write a check, even though checks might be disappearing. You still You're have signing to, other contracts and you things will have like to that. sign your name. Um, it was interesting. I took my 16 year old to open yes. a bank account recently and the woman at the bank said, can you sign your name? And my son just yeah. Look at her, like, and she said, "You wouldn't believe the amount of kids that come in and they cannot Can sign their name." It. So um, yeah, I also made sure that we did cursive. They have to. They had to do. I usually did about two or three years, just like workbooks. It was just a real simple mm -hmm. couple of minutes a day. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, I had them learn it. Yes, um, definitely, so they can sign their name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just think back to this. Just popped into my head. I just think back to the day when people couldn't sign. They signed an X, mm -hmm. and those folks were illiterate. But so that's an interesting thought to me, yeah. you know. Yeah. Mm. So it sounds yeah. like a lot, but keep in mind we don't do everything every single day, every subject. Mm -hmm. Keep it simple. Mm -hmm. Keep it short. I think that's what's important at that age. Um, it's important that your child learns the love for learning. Yeah. At that age, yeah. and if you yeah. put too much pressure on them, I think it can squelch that. Yeah. So mm -hmm. just keeping it short, keeping it simple, mm -hmm. uh, not comparing mm -hmm. to to the other kids around you, your other children, your neighbor's children, not, you know, mm -hmm. your Co kids at co-op. Co yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> not comparing, but just knowing that each child matures at a different pace mm -hmm. and a different rate, and they have mm -hmm. different learning styles. Mm -hmm. Um, that yeah. might be something we can talk about. Sometime. Yeah, but, well, yeah. I'm making note. I'm making, making a note. note. Yes. Different learning styles. We're talking about yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, those long drawn out lessons. I mean, they're hard for senior high kids. That's right. I mean, come on. So the hard first, for me. second, <laughs> or second <laughs> graders. No, no, don't put them through it. So, you know, with science, when you need more time, do it once a week. Do it twice a week, where you have time to do an experiment that's going to require them to have a yeah. little bit more. And maybe that day. Don't do so much as the other stuff yeah. of, of the other stuff so that That's they right. can use up that concentration energy at one one subject. So um, so also I don't think we I mentioned grammar. I do cover grammar, but only as they get older. Mm -hmm. So in first and second grade, I mean Mad Libs, Mad Libs, <laughs> Mad Libs is good, but yeah. those things they'll they'll come later. Yeah, I definitely hit on grammar, cursive, all those things. Yeah. But it was definitely after yeah. first and second grade. And that stuff's grade. important too. Yeah. Some of that's a dying. A dying um, skill, and it's important. It is important to, to communicate well. Yeah. So I did. Ha I do have a quote that I have on the front of the mommy schedule notebook. It's like the the schedule of all schedule books. Um, but I wrote it. It's from Jesus Calling by Sarah Young. It's from the August fifth. So if you have it, you can look up this up on August fifth. It says a leisurely pace accomplishes more than hurried striving. When you rush, you forget who you are. And whose you are. That's great. That really spoke yeah. to me when I read yeah. that. It was the, uh, we, begin, we begin our school year at the beginning of August. That was August 5th. And I read that and I was like, oh my word. 
this was just for me yeah. right at the beginning of my school just year. What you needed to hear. It was, it was, it really is. <laughs> I yeah. do really need to hear that. Yeah, so that's good. Yeah, so it does take a little time to think about what you want to focus mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. in your homeschool, figure mm -hmm. out what's important to you, mm -hmm. what's important to your family, make sure that you plan time for that. Mm -hmm. It was really important to yeah. me that we spent time together as a family every day and that I would read aloud. Even as my kids got older, mm -hmm. I, and I've I mentioned that before, I would read out loud. I love to read missionary stories. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Taking gotcha. my children each individually on missions trips has been really important to me. Mm -hmm. And so I made sure that we made time for all those things to happen. Mm -hmm. Um, so, you know, and there's always going to be way, there are going to be ways that you can save time in your homeschool day. And we're going to talk mm -hmm. about that next week when yeah. we talk about homeschooling multiple levels. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I think it's just to remember first and second grade, you're still under the radar. Radar. Enjoy the, enjoy, enjoy the under the radar. Enjoy them. And enjoy, <laughs> enjoy them. Yeah. Yes. Enjoy your time. Yeah. Time with them is so important. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. So. Well, I think that's it. That's it. Okay. This has been. Chatting with Chaps. See you next week. Enjoy that song.